Hello and welcome back to another craptacular episode of Amnesia the Dark Descent. And I can say craptacular because I'm honestly to the point I'm not very excited about playing this game. I mean, I, I think it's great from an entertainment standpoint, from your standpoint, that you get to enjoy me being scared out of my, uh, just my mind. But for me, I'm, I think I'm probably past the point of, of really enjoying myself. Anyway, um, when we last left off, we got past the Deathfish era. Uh, we kind of looked around. Um, I was doing pretty good at figuring out the puzzle stuff. Hand drill and made some uh, ex an explosive. Um, and we had this crowbar, and I believe I know what that was for. And it was something like I just totally passed up. Because the way that Amnesia's been working is that there's it's just puzzle after puzzle. And most of the stuff you need to solve the puzzles are in the same room as the puzzles. And there was a locked door, and I think we needed to use the crowbar on it. Pretty sure. But, I mean, we can keep looking around. Um, personally, I'd, I'd like to take care of that first. I don't know. I need to figure out what that explosive is for, because I don't know. So we need to figure that out. But I don't have very much oil, which sucks. So we're going to look around and see if we can't figure something out. Hi, Tinderbox. Can I grab you? There you go. Did not see you before, but I see you now. There's a monster out here earlier. Uh, no, I think we're good now. I'm gonna look around as quickly as I can. I think that's where I came from. Let's walk in here. Um, just piles of stuff. I just want to double check because I, because I made the explosive in like this room. There's probably a high chance that I use it in here somewhere. So, that's why. Um, looking around as quick as I can, because I know I probably don't have a whole lot of stupid oil left. Keep going to the right, keep going to the right. What was in here? Anything? Nothing. Okay. So, I mean, I, that's the room I came in. I'm pretty satisfied with this area. I don't think there's anything in here. No monster. Son of a gun, there goes my oil. Okay. That's the way I came from. <sighs> okay, it really freaking sucks not having any oil. Like seriously, how am I, how am I expected to advance when I can't see a doggone thing? I mean, I, this is the way I came. <sighs> Crap, okay. Well, I think that I, I used my crowbar back here. So I'm going to head back into the this back hall area. Because that's where I think I used the crowbar. And maybe in the room that I was going to use the crowbar, which is the closet of the guest room. You know, maybe there is some oil. I really don't know. But I need oil, so I got to go. Plus, it was light. Which is good. Guest room. Oh, man. Yeah, if I don't get oil, I, I really have no idea how I'm going to advance. There's probably, you know, like a, a fix for that or something. Anyway, this is the room I couldn't get through earlier. It's stuck to a broken, due to a broken lock, and I think that this will fix it. Yeah. Come on. There we go. Flashback. The key. Please let it be here. The key. Find a better place to hide. Okay. Hold it closed. Apparently there's a monster outside. Oh, that sounds bad. Sounds very bad. Does not sound good. Uh, pretty sure there's a monster outside right now. But it's cool because I'm chilling in the closet. I really want to look, but I'm, I'm scared that he'll notice me and I'll have to like, do it all over again.
Did he leave? I think he left. Cool. I'm um, cool. Of July, 1839. Fine. It's done. The orb is assembled. I was awakened by an exhausting nightmare. Shaking and sweating, I retired to the drawing room with a cup of tea. The relic pieces lay spread across the table as I'd left them. But somehow, I knew how it was supposed to be. I fetched the tar, which I had prepared to fix the pieces together, and without fault, I joined them, producing the orb I remembered so clearly. The tar proved unnecessary. It was pushed out from the joining pieces as they merged on their own, with no adhesive. The ancient stone relic now rests on my table. Its immaculate surface and perfect shape could have been molded by a factory. This is all too strange. Too strange. Now, in his little flashback, he was looking for a key. I, I guess in the drawers. But I don't, I don't see a key. Maybe I'm supposed to find a key here. Threw that down. I don't see any key. Um, I'm going to assume that there is no key. Okay, well, at least the monster's gone. And... Oh. oh! Thank God, there it is. I guess it is a good place to hide it, then. <laughs> well. I guess I need to get this key. Gotcha. The machine room key. Oh! Well, that was... That, that worked well. Cool. Well, I'm really glad I came back to do this then. I can get into the machine room. And uh, I don't have... What? Someone's coming. I think I'm hearing voices. I don't think anything's actually coming. Um... I was just hoping that I could find some more oil, but... I don't think there's any left in any of this stuff, so... But now I can go into the machine room. Not that it matters too much with no oil. And I have an explosive. Which... Which I would use to, to check out other stuff, but... I have to be able to see. It's kind of important. There needs to be, like, a way for to get infinite oil. That would be awesome. But I guess that would make the game too easy. Although, on the flip side, things are, you know, super, super difficult when you don't have oil. So, I don't know. Not sure how I feel about everything. The machine room was in here. Also, I was collecting stuff to make the elevator work, and I don't know if I have everything yet. I might. It's not working. Okay, well, how do I... Okay, I can control the doors. Okay, I don't know how this thing works. Cannot use the item this way. Okay, well. I'm not sure where that thing goes. Um, you might have to go into the machine room to make the elevator work. Possibly. I don't know. It's locked. Well, I have the key. So take that. I'm going in here. And without any stupid oil. God. Sucks. Part of me thinks that when I find oil, I should go back and explore what it's going to explore. Um. Well, it's a little dark. So my guy is going insane. What's in here? Hello. Fifth of July, eighteen thirty-nine. Today, I went to the university looking for answers. I was able to sneak into Herbert's office and pick up an address book along with some relevant textbooks. Professor Taylor at the Faculty of History was very helpful and I managed to approach the subject of the orbs. The most interesting aspect was the prevalent trace they had left in our culture. The mythic orbs may in fact have inspired the Globus Cruciger, which so many royal regalia holds to this day. 
In ancient times, the orbs were held by priests as a symbol of the sun and its power. As I was leaving, I overheard a disturbing conversation. Sir William Smith, the geologist, was killed last night. Less than a fortnight had passed since I'd asked for his expertise. I know it's silly, but I can't help feeling responsible somehow. Interesting. So, um, I, I still haven't seen anything about these orbs. Like, like I haven't, like I haven't found the orbs or anything myself. When I walk close to stuff, it um, I I do I do get able to see a little bit. What does this say? Do I hear a monster? I might hear a monster. I don't know. Um, this is supposed to be set to uh, eight and eight. I remember that. Um. I can figure this out. Just have to add stuff up. Okay, if they both need to be set to 8 and 8, um, how can I do that? The big numbers are at the bottom. So if I do um, like 6 and 2, that's 8. And then 3, 3, and oh, that's 9. That's wrong. Okay. Um, how about, uh, okay, this is a puzzle. What does that equal? That's, that's equal to eight on the bottom, right? That's five, two, and one, which is eight, but the top one is now like a million. <laughs> uh, crap. Also, my guy is really... How's his sanity? He does not like standing here in the dark doing this. Uh, let's try... Here's five. So if we replace this... There we go! Got it! Excellent! Two, two, th or two, three, one. If I have to redo this for some reason, I don't know. Cool, so now the flow is even and stable. Yes, you're welcome. And I can see to get this tinderbox. And this tinderbox. Come on. My guy can't look down that far to get the stupid tinderbox. Um, that's, I'm really after oil. One of those little jugs things that, that has all the oil. would be so awesome right now. So does that mean that it's working? The elevator's working? I still have that rod that has to go somewhere. And I'm not 100% sure where that goes, but I'm, I'm hoping that it'll be um, evident to me where it's supposed to go. I don't know. And what's in here? Oh, a note. Something to read. 14th of July, 1839. So I've read every book I can find on the subject. While rich in legend and hearsay, my knowledge is lack for the insight I crave. I've sent letters to many in Herbert's address book and received answers of varying importance. Today, I got one which differed greatly from the others. From a baron in Prussia. He said nothing about the quaint stories of priests in underground temples. He didn't even mention them. He simply wrote, I know, I can protect you. Come to Brennenburg Castle. Signed, Alexander. What am I to make of this? Protect me from what? Is someone after me? I looked up Brennenburg and traced it to the Prussian woods near the Baltic Sea. While being the least informative letter I've received, it causes me greatest distress and interest. As I write, my thoughts are drawn to my nightmares in which a most disturbing sound calls to me. A sound defying description. A voice from the void. The last few weeks have been awful, with so many sleepless nights dreading a repeat of those horrid dreams. Tomorrow, I shall visit my physician, Dr. Tate, in hope that he can provide me with sedatives to help me sleep. Um, that looks like where Daniel, the guy I am, met Alexander, who was the other person in here. Oh, another note. 
Note that there are only two spare rods left in storage for the elevator machinery. Make sure to only discard the ones which are badly damaged and keep the other ones in the inner study rooms in case all three would crack again. What is this? Track take dick tractatio fluxus? Um is this where this thing goes? Yes! Oh. Can I put it in any hole? Apparently I can. I'm not really sure where it goes. I have no idea. Um, and maybe I shouldn't even leave it in there, but... Oh, I got plenty of tinderboxes. I'm pretty thrilled about that. Uh... If you hover over, like if you're, if you're, when you first walk up to stuff, it's really dark, but if you just kind of chill in there, it, it does seem to get a little lighter to, to kind of help you see a bit. Guess let's head down further. Running, because I like to run. Oh, darkness, really dark in here. Can't see a doggone thing. Oh, another little note. 17th of July, 1839. How has this escaped me? They're all dead. Limbs scattered, heads split down the middle, their skin flayed as if boiled. I feel like I'm falling into myself. What's happening? Sir William Smith, Professor Taylor, now Dr. Tate. Is it following me? How can it not be? It's the damn thing I brought from Africa. Something is after me. I have no choice but to trust the Baron. He better know what he claims. If he is wrong, I suspect he'll regret it as well. So that was where he admitted that he should trust this guy, Alexander. And that's what he did. What is this? There are missing cogwheels to be fitted. Oh, well now look, I have to do some other bullcrap. <laughs> I have to put cog wheels on here. And then, presumably... Yeah, okay. I understand. So I have to go bring the cog wheels into here. What does this do? I don't know what this does. There's nothing in the burner for it to ignite. There's like all kinds of like stuff I have to press and do and... Things like that. Oh my god, that's awesome. I'm not going to use it though. I'm seriously, I'm not even going to like bother refilling it because I know how valuable this oil is. And if I can get away with like just walking around in the dark being able to see at least a little bit, I'm going to do it. Because I know that I have to have that lantern for the storage area of the game. Like, there's no way around it. And if I have to walk around in the dark like this, then I will. That's fine by me. Hello, cog. There was another huge cog in that other room. Alright, you snap in somewhere. Okay, so I need two more. And there was another one, like, up there in the other room. There might be another one just, like, hiding somewhere, too. I'm pretty sure they'll probably, like, try and spawn a monster. Maybe. I don't know. It seems like when you least expect it, you're in the middle of trying to do something important. That's when it does stuff like that. There we go. And there's one more, and I know where that one is. It is back on a table, because I actually picked it up. I was like, oh, look, a cog. So let's go back and get that. Was it in here? Uh... Kind of want to use, kind of. Want to? Oh, yeah. Here it is. I was gonna say I kind of want to use my uh, my lantern, but I'm training myself not to. No lantern. Lantern is reserved for storage. Definitely. Okay. Go back down into this room and make this thing work. Yes. Go. More work before it will run. Oh, the burner thing. What do I do it? What do I what do I put in there? 
Anything? Boxes? Can I put the box in there? Okay, no, I guess not. Um, well, that'll be something I figure out next time. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and shut this episode off. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Oh, I was, was going to close the door, but there's no door. Um, if you enjoyed this episode in any capacity, please click like. If you haven't done so already, highly consider subscribing to Steam Plays. New video game episode every single day. And once again, thanks for joining me, and join me next time for, um, I don't know, figuring out how to get that burner to run. <laughs> thanks for watching.